What is up everyone? It is Rachel. Welcome back to my channel. And so we are starting off 2024 with a trip. For this video, Colton and I are going to Florida. He is running the Disney Marathon down there and then we are going to Disney World. Super fun, super excited, so let's go catch this flight. Here is the front entrance, Airbnb tour in florida <laughs> you're in the background Yee! we're gonna go for a run with mr marathon look at that shirt oh my god wow 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 here's the first bedroom nice bed you get the florida views out front it's a nice town community here tv oh and then it is connected to this first bathroom. It's so nice. And then nice shower connected to this toilet area. And then coming out again, you get back to this main hallway, front door. Going this way, you get to the main living area. <laughs> Natural habitat, washer dryer space kitchen so pretty i gotta move here get a second house over in florida down here then you walk back floor to ceiling windows you get to the pool we were just in the pool it was raining this morning but now it is 72 degrees outside the pool was nice <laughs> look at those quads <laughs> no free content. You're right, you're right. So go back. Then we go upstairs. <laughs> to the whole secret other area. Up here we got a foosball table. And then more bedrooms here. Bedroom. Another bathroom, I think a closet, yeah, nothing, nothing good there. And then another bedroom with bunk beds, so exciting. Carlton's running the marathon and here's a swag bag and show us what you get. So if you're really cool, they give you the bib, just not have your name on it, they give you a little tiny sticker, mm -hmm. hopefully it has your name on it. Um, and then you do get to get a shirt. The shirt's actually pretty sick. I like it a lot. They did long sleeve, which uh, might be overkill considering it's gonna be like eight degrees, but I guess in the rest of winter. This is the front, all the sponsor people in the back. I say the fit is I'd go with whatever size normal wear. I think it's the favorite part, sticker pack. Where are you gonna put them? I don't know. I don't actually, I, I've actually yet to look at it since I got it. I just saw this thing. And I was like, yes, I want that sticker. <laughs> but actually, yeah, I was like, I don't even know if there's a back or anything. I don't know. We'll probably put the stickers on some things. And there's a few other ones. But I mean, I never even knew about Run Disney until like this year. But they do a lot of events. It's like every month or every other month. Like I think there's like six ones a year at least at Disney World. Nice. So we'll see about those for the future. But really excited for the metal. The metal is super cool looking. Yeah. Tomorrow. <laughs> yeah. It is 9.30 p.m. We have to wake up at 2 a.m. to go to this race. <laughs> it's funny. Colton's dad said earlier, Colton, isn't 2 a.m. usually when you get home? No. Now it is when we are waking up. <laughs> I'm very pre-tired, so we will vlog it tomorrow. All right guys, today we're doing the Disney Marathon. It's 3.30 in the morning. We started at 2 a.m., the earliest I've ever woken up for one of these races. Uh, I cannot believe how many people are already here. Some very excited people to be up early, but the race starts at five, we have an hour and a half. I'm very glad we parked because I pretty much am always late to these races and it's kind of annoying, <laughs> pretty much rushing to the start line. So yeah, we have like an hour and a half um, I'd like to do my stretches because we're doing parks later and I'm hoping to be able to walk by the end of this. 
but the race goes through all four parks and by the two water parks which i think is super cool i've always loved coming here so i'm excited to get to go through take videos get a lot of pictures hopefully and just enjoy it before we even start this trip It's the big ball. Look at it. race gets started here at 5 a.m. and Colton is running. Myself and his parents, we are going to spectate the race. So from Epcot, we are going to take the monorail over to Magic Kingdom in order to catch him running along Main Street, going up to Cinderella's Castle, where this is around mile eight in the race. All these people out here at five o'clock in the morning supporting. That's all you could ask for, man. I was worried about missing you. <laughs> no, I'm like, oh my god, there he is. I was like, I literally do not want to miss I was like, I literally do not want to miss you guys. Alright. Alright. I'll see you again. Bye bye. See ya. Alright, see you guys. Bye. Off to the castle. And after this, this was the only spectator spot we were viewing him at, so we went to go eat. And then we are taking the monorail back to go to Epcot where the race finishes. Except this monorail line was so freaking long. In the morning at 5 a.m., no line, we could just hop right on. Coming back, a lot of other people, similar idea, trying to get to Epcot for the finish line. We made it to Animal Kingdom. And the spirit of this place, it's raining. <laughs> I think out of the five marathons I've done, it's rained on four. <laughs> and the other one was a severe heat wave. So, you know, doing really well here, but I'm gonna be honest, I prefer the rain because at least I'm not hot. <laughs> this is very cool. Everything. All right, guys, so we got back from the marathon, which was yesterday, and it was an experience for sure. It was very fun overall. I enjoyed it a lot. I've actually been looking forward to this one the most out of like all year because the other ones were fun, but I was like, this one's just gonna be like actually relaxing, getting to enjoy it. Race started off at Epcot. They had a little fireworks to send us all off which I was in the A group, which I was very thankful for because that means you got to leave first and they're doing like character photo shoots along the way. 
So I was like, I kind of wanted to get out so I could get my pictures. Well, like there wasn't as much of a crowd going on. As you go in the Magic Kingdom, like front gate and then like start running down Main Street, it's like the coolest thing ever. Cause it's just all the people are on one side, which makes it easier for finding. But it's like, everybody's there just like cheering you on. I'm like, it's so lit up and it's so nice. Definitely enjoy that moment and don't like rush through it. Cause I definitely was like, I'm going to take my time here because I'm only going to get to do this for like this one or two minutes that takes me to go through here. It was really cool. They gave us a very cool medal. It has a little Mickey and Minnie on it that kind of moves up and down, which I think is one of the coolest medals I've ever gotten. And I look very much forward to it. And then the best part is they gave us these little hats. I've always wanted one of these things. I actually don't even know what they sell though, but I was like, it has the little uh, marathon thing stitched into it. So it was definitely one of my favorite experiences, but probably going to next year, I think I would step down to the half marathon because unless you're like really dying to do a full one, it's a, you get most of your joy out of the halfway point. Like the running on Main Street through Magic Kingdom, that's really fun. The Animal Kingdom and then Hollywood Studios part, I'm like, you could probably do without. So if you're trying to do it for the Disney side of it, you're gonna get most of your enjoyment out of the half, which is what I plan to be doing next year. Overall, I really enjoyed it. I'd do it again. Find a view of our interest. Probably the most fun marathon you could ever do. Definitely try to do it with friends too.